Hey, early Christmas present. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. When did you order that? Uh, Friday. And today is? Uh, what is it today? Wednesday. And this has come from Germany. Somewhere in Germany, Russia, somewhere in the European Union. Paperwork. Bits of empty cardboard. Bits of styrofoam. Uh, bubble pack, probably full of COVID. Wash my hands after the. Gee, where's what a mess? Oh boy. Well, there it is. The Verdi's VQ9. Yes, to go with all its brothers and sisters upstairs. Fun with that pet. Few moments later. I'm going to surprise him, screw this up for him, and he'll have no choice. His OCD will kick in, he will have to fix it up. Oh god, it's too big for my hands. <laughs> I can't get it. We missed it, did we? Maybe my hands are too small. Alright, that should be enough. <laughs> Merry Christmas, darling. 12 seconds later. Leah! Much later. Okay, well, I've uh, come across an issue with this 9x9 cube. And that's at some of the corners, the actual stickers um, haven't been able to sit flat because of the uh, casting marks left behind. But it's a, it's a simple fix. Okay, so I'll show you the, the, the fix that I've come up with. So to try and set the camera up to, to catch one. I've got to find, uh, find a good example first. Okay, so here's an example on this sticker here. You can see the problem. The casting mark on the, uh, on the actual cube itself has... Um, has prevented the sticker from sitting flat so it's a fairly easy thing to fix because the sticker isn't sitting flat very easy to remove there with the tweezers I'll just put that to one side I grab a scalpel and scrape it flat bit easier when you uh, try not to move the cube so it could be videoed properly. And it's it's just the uh, it's just the casting mark here from manufacturing and it's unfortunately if you twist the cube out of the way like that you'll get a better access to it. Just gonna make sure you can still see that. Yep. So I'll just 
just scrape this up. I'll speed it up the video while I'm doing this. But it usually doesn't uh, doesn't take too long. It's just a, depending on the size of the fur. I find the problem mostly in these corner ones. But they happen to be the easiest one. Then all you do is you stick it back over the spot and now you can see it's it's sitting flat and that shouldn't come up again. So I have to go um go over the cube with uh Carefully and find all the corner ones and everything that don't line up properly or don't sit proud. You can see there's another one, this green one here. You can see uh, if I zoom in on it, I'll, I'll move the cube. You can see the light there is hitting it just perfectly to illustrate the problem here where the, the casting underneath is causing a lip on there and um, I'll just uh, demonstrate that again with the corner one as the stickers aren't sitting down properly they do lift off and that was how I found the problem I had a sticker fall off and you can see there I think uh, on the camera you can see the casting mark across here so all we need to do is just get rid of that casting mark it's a simple matter of scraping it off some sort of flat blade I think you can now see that it's it's um it's cleaned up there's no no mark and I'll just put that stick it back on there and you can now see that the sticker is sitting nice and flat and won't come up there you go simple fix Hey, okay, well, someone suggested that I show you how I solved the 9x9x9 cube. So here we are. This is step one is to complete one center. I choose the black one because it's got the V on it. I hope I'm not making an incorrect assumption here, but I'm sure that most people who are watching this know how to solve at least Rubik's Cube. So go and have some fun working out the first layer all on your own and then the opposite layer. So here's some steps I took. Okay, two centers done. Three done. Black, yellow, and orange. Okay, so what do we have here now? We have black, blue, orange, and yellow done. So we're only after now the green and red. These are the two left. So basically as we solve in this case, everything, all the other centers are done. We do the red and the green center parts. This is my solution anyway, there are others. Uh, I do the whole centers for these two simultaneously. And uh, when that's done, then I start to do the, uh, along the edges here. Okay, okay, well, I'm going to show you how to move these two cubes with these two. So, I'm not actually going to show you the full solution that I have for this cube. I'm just going to show you a couple of the things I do. Once you can see what I've done here, you can do that for every square across these two centres uh, to line them all up, uh, both on their own colour. I'm not going to do a detailed explanation of how I do this whole cure. I'm just going to show you a couple of simple steps that I take and that should be enough to assist you to solve the cube on your own. Much later.
And there you go. Okay, are all, all the center parts are done. So now we just have to start work on the edges. I'm not going to film all that. I might film bits of it. Okay, I'm going to go over how I do the edges. Okay, so I do this, I build this up slowly, a piece at a time, this is the way I do it. So I'm going to try and put this red and black in here. So obviously this is the wrong one. This is the one that's meant for the other side here. So you've always got to test it and make sure it's going to go in there. Uh, the other red and black one is somewhere else. Ah, uh, there it is. Down here. So if I turn that up, so it's on the same level. Okay. Test it. Okay, so that's definitely there. But what I'm going to do at the same time is, I like to do two at once. So I either have to find the green one that's going to go green and red that's going to go here, or the blue and orange that's going to go there. So I'll quickly look for that blue and orange. So there's a blue and orange there. Just make sure that that's going to be the, the right one. Uh, and the trick is, if that was to move to this thing, it would be upside down. If you turn this top over there, it would be the opposite. So that means it's correct. Because if it's wrong there, it would be right here. So what I do is I move the black into this position. This one here, so that lines up. I'm going to put this one in. Okay, so I'll just turn this top so it's there. I'll move that orange so it's in that position. Move the top back and turn that back around so it lines up. So you can see there the orange and blue there. And at the same time we did the other two, which was these two. So you basically just do that one little bit at a time. You build it all up and like you build three there and three there and then four and then you put the whole thing together i'll come back when it's all edges once they're all the same color on each of these edges through the whole cube you have basically turned it into one of these okay which is my objective so once i've turned it into that i can solve it the same as i solve that piece of cake Okay, so as you can see, we've got a little bit further along here. We've started to get some groups of threes here, uh, some groups of threes there, but we still have some groups of twos. Um, but all the ones, all the single ones are gone now. And so getting uh, very, very close. Um, so let me show you uh, maybe if we can do a quick one here with uh, where we're doing three. Uh, where are we? So, okay, I've found what I'm looking for here. I'm going to move these two orange ones to join up with that. So I make a group of three. Oh, it's still a bit stiff this cube. And I'm going to put these, the blue and the yellow uh, there to match with that blue and yellow there. And that way we sort of get two birds with one stone. So I move that till it's a group of three. Um, and that's going to end up there. So I'll move that across there. Okay. And then put it back and there you can see that's the three have lined up. So I'll keep going with that and I'll come back when, because uh, of course we've got groups of three, so pretty soon we're going to be able to make a Oh, we can make probably make a whole one somewhere actually while you're here. Find the whole group there and then I'll come back. Okay, so a little bit farther on. We're almost finished actually. We only have all well, the edges. We only have uh, three left where the, there's a set of three that are incomplete. So that's this one, this one. This one, two happen to be orange blue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pair of orange blue here, move this black and red to here, and move this orange and blue back here so that we ground the right way. So move that there. Uh, turn that that way. Put that there like that. Okay, 
So now, as you can see, they're all in groups of three or four. Some centers are out of place. So I'll uh, get that ready so there's only like a couple left and then I'll come back and we'll go over the last ones together. Okay. Well, we've moved a little bit further along. And you can see most of the edges are now joined up and there's three to go. So we've got to change three. Uh, let's see which three. So this one here belongs here. This one belongs here and this one belongs here. So you can do all sort of three at the same time. I'll move that one down here. When I turn that, it's going to be there, so I need to move that one back. Move it back there. And there you go. It's easy as that. So now what we've effectively done, if you consider just the edges, is we've turned it into a Rubik's Cube. So that's it. So... And folks, we are done. Yeah, oh, so I'm spinning it that way.